This is a HeadGum Podcast. Now on today's program, the single movie in almost 300 episodes that seriously made me consider quitting this venture. It's Ultraviolet. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Seda. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. And we're defeated. Everyone, welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, summer, summer. Wow, I wish it was summer. We'd be long <laughs> past this movie. Listener request month rolls on. Uh, <clears throat> we're here to talk about Ultraviolet from 2006, directed by Kurt Vimmer. Uh, this was requested by Stephen from Charlotte, North Carolina, who had this to say. Hi, uh, this is Stephen from Charlotte, North Carolina. I was calling in for listener request month to request Ultraviolet from 2006. It is the worst movie possibly I have ever seen, and it openly made me break up with my girlfriend at the time. Hope to hear it. Love the show, guys. Wow. I want that story. Right, yeah, yeah, I want that story. Come on. So did she like the movie? I think that's what that's, it has to I be. It would have yeah. to have been that's a, That's like a that. parking lot argument. <laughs> or like she didn't think it was that bad. Bad. Or maybe it was a, like, can we go? And she's like, no, I want to watch how it ends. And you're like, I really just want to go. You know what? I really just want to go. There might be a stinger, even though those things don't exist yet. Oh, my God. Waiting for a, an ultraviolet <laughs> stinger scene. That sucks. That That's grounds for what divorce. Oh, tease, man. Four though. and five are going to show up. <laughs> oh, my God. What, th- those are like the other clone babies? The other clones of the idiot from the... <laughs> The villain idiot. I don't know. I forget the guy's name. Uh, oh, uh, Draxus. Fernando Draxus. Draxus. That's Draxus. it. Yeah, Draxus. Fernando Draxus. You know, because it's kind of <laughs> like Dracula. Oh right. Oh yeah. And they take the like the stupidest part of being a vampire. <laughs> Can we get into the vampire thing? Because it literally took me fifty minutes to figure out this is a movie about vampires. But it's sure, not about vampires. Well, well, hang on. Before we get going, I'm saying right now that we're just we're recording this episode. Yeah, <clears throat> this show is always you know it's just conversational. It's sure. not scripted, uh-huh. and you know an average we hate movies episode is about well. <laughs> 90, 100 minutes sometimes depends on if we, we really an, get going. We'll sneak an 80 in there every so Yeah, long. you know, it depends upon if we get off on a rant here. I'm making no fucking promises about this. <laughs> we might be talking about Steven's breakup again. <laughs> Mini uh, so To pad it out, man. Yeah, who the hell knows? Well, uh, whatever makes the thing zing, man. <laughs> I yeah, mean, Jesus. Know, so I said it just the other week ago, <laughs> cursing us, but I thought The Last Airbender was one of the worst movies we've ever seen. No, and this, this, is, this like, is the one. Easily, this is the one. It takes the cake. Can this we all like turn our key? Like uh, We've never done this before because usually one person says it and then somebody else says, oh, new key or something. But I really feel like we've hit it. This yeah. is it. This, this is, is it. it. So, it's, this is it. so this beats out Letter from Death Row. Oh, yes. Of course. Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah. Like, easily. easily. That, is, that is just uh, a be- remarkable movie. Beautiful this is not. work of an auteur. <laughs> yes. At I least mean, Letter from Death Row had the fucking common courtesy to be bootlegged onto YouTube. I had to fucking rent this shit on Amazon. Ooh, three dollars to Kurt Vimmer. <laughs> yeah, totally. I was pissed too, man. I was like, should have went for the SD. <laughs> Went for that HD, losing that dollar. You know, I, don't, made, I don't think it was meant to be seen in HD. <laughs> no, it was meant to be seen by no one yeah. ever, no, except think, for Kurt Vimmer. I imagine Kurt Vimmer at a, a McDonald's, and like he's like getting, yeah, let me get a number two, uh, medium or large, and he gets a notification that somebody ordered ultraviolet on Amazon. He's like. <laughs> You can make that large. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you can. Ooh. And you know what? While you're at it, sweetheart, how about a 10-piece nuggets? <laughs> Kurt's eating good tonight, baby! <laughs> Some podcasts talking about my movie! God. And you know, it, you read the, the, the clap trap on like Wikipedia and whatnot. Who is that, gonorrhea? Yeah. <clears throat> and he's whining. Uh, speaking of gonorrhea, he's whining about like... Oh, my movie was cut down by the uh. studio. This is the oh, they cut thirty minutes. The fighting. You know what? This is so fucking incompetently written, directed, performed. Uh, you know, you could have cut out forty-five minutes. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. I will say it is remarkably horrible in its editing. Like, oh yes. yeah, it so is. You can't. 
really not that that crown might not sit on Kurt Vimmer's head. You know it, what I mean? No, like, but don't sit here and tell me that if they left yes. thirty there was more no, minutes, there was a good movie, movie hidden no, under no, this. No, 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 there was no, not. No, 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 there was no, not. No. So we start the movie appropriately with a uh, Mila Jovovich um, monologue where she says, "My name is Violet, and I'm from a world you might not understand, and you might not understand <laughs> it because it's ill conceived and nobody <laughs> thought it's real." See, see, you called it a monologue. I went with rant. <laughs> so now this is a world where. The medical community because has become like militarized and yeah. Nazified and Christianized oh, a bit. There was a lot of Nazi stuff in this. Like Big anyone time. who's had any type of disease or is yeah. predisposed to a disease goes to basically Auschwitz. Or yes. Well, it's basically so. I think what happens is like this: this vampire disease breaks out, and society is split into either you have it or you don't have mm. it. The don't have it forces the have it's to like put armbands on and yes are indeed interned in uh, concentration but w- camps. When you say vampire, Andrew, you know because words mean things. Sure, you're, you're like, oh, it's a, a person that uh, can only exist in the nighttime, has sharp fangs, uh, maybe could turn into a bat. Uh, could lives eat forever. a lot of garlic on his yes. pizza. Sucks blood through his fangs or her fangs. But we're just we're hemophages and we're kind of vampires, but we're not really because we don't do any of the things vampires well, what do we got? We got are the known teeth. to do. We got the teeth. We d- mostly have the teeth. Although Jovovich doesn't have the teeth in the movie until like the third act for some reason. Uh, she I can hide like, them somehow. No, I feel like that's a budgetary constraint. Oh, I the see. fucking bank was hiding. Those well, I mean, teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Will you? hey, you're not. Hey, yeah, come back on Thursday with the money. You'll get the teeth. <laughs> You'll get those teeth. It's like William Fickner has looks like he has like the cotton balls up under oh the gums with these teeth. But poor William Fickner. What but, the fuck? But can I say about the Nazi stuff? This and this is the watery turd on top of it all. Oh gross. Is that not only does it make it very clear like they went to camps, you know, they were rounded <laughs> up and like all this stuff. Yeah. Then they have to show a shot of three skinheads yeah. hanging out against a wall oh. just to stamp it for you. Oh, really? I didn't even notice it. I was too busy closing ridiculous. my eyes and sighing. Like, I didn't get it. I didn't get you were talking about the Holocaust. Uh, weird. No, Here's the I thing, though. Weird. If you're making all these, uh, like, wink winks and fucking, you know, like, rib, el- elbow to rib notifications about Nazis and whatnot. Your villain in this movie has to have the stage presence and the gravitas of one Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Not the guy who was the bad lawyer in Law and Order. Yep. Or uh, the hillbilly guy from uh, Con Air is that guy. Serial killer from yes. um, uh, X-Files. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, whatever that guy The guy who cuts was... uh, things off and he gets Yeah, he was Scully. like dangerously obsessed with Scully. Yep, yeah. Uh, yeah. All those things sound better. <laughs> But oh, so that was a good episode, man. So with vampires, though, like I'm sorry, Stephen's ex girlfriend maybe liked this movie. That's not my <laughs> not my ex girlfriend, but Stephen from Charlotte. Yeah, Stephen from Charlotte. Excuse me, I, I wouldn't associate with anybody. That Stephen from Real World Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> but words need to mean something. I'm so like vampire. <laughs> if I made a movie about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right. and it was just like four. Mm-hmm. Guys, and they're like, oh, but they were Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or they are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but the, their skin is white, and they they have like hair, and they're actually not teenagers, and they're kind of a little bit heavy. At like, one time, they were possibly turtles because like it's it's it, it, it's it's Twilight that does this. Like a lot of times, we're just like, yeah, they're vampires, but they're not really vampires. Like well, vampires are a thing, well, and you're not re- you're like there's a and they say this in Twilight too, <clears throat> and I guess if you talk to anyone about this movie, maybe they'd say it here too. But it's like the idea of oh. We're reimagining something. It's, no, 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 no. You're like doing something out of like restriction or like necessity yes. for something. Which I, I know the Twilight story was like based on books and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that more problem very good was. Books. But what very, very no, good books? Book. I was oh. being sarcastic. Did you read any of them? No, of course yeah. not. What about Wait, Dan Brown novels? Did you read any of them? Not. Are yeah. you judging stuff by its cover? I am. <laughs> Specifically books. <laughs> <laughs> Only books. But I just hate that idea of like, oh, I'm reimagining something. No, you're not. You're just like leaving out details. Well, yeah. yeah. And and just not doing the thing. There's a really funny uh <laughs> like piece. imagine if it was like a Bella Lugosi Dracula in, yeah. a, in a fucking future castle. I mean, then now we're just doing underworld, yeah. but I'm okay with it's that. Ba- it's ba- it's more interesting. It's a movie at Does least. Everybody well, see that ultraviolet. 
wouldn't total joke that was trying to be like our beloved Underworld <laughs> series. Oh, is that the Underworld like Christmas party? It's him <laughs> and Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> Everyone's Michael just Sheen is there. It. Totally. Just, yeah. Len Wiseman's giving out gift bags. Oh, look, Michael, you're under the mistletoe. <laughs> Michael, why did you bother with that passenger's movie? That's embarrassing. Come home, Michael. <laughs> no, it's embarrassing that he was an underworld. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. 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 Come home. Is just one movie or multiple? Well, Michael Sheen? Yeah. I think he's in at least two of two them. Two or three. Oh, my yeah. Lord. Yeah, he was around. And that's the same oh with Twilight, Lord. right? He's in two or three what? Twilight. Yeah. yeah. Dude, he's in them there Twilight yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like the main villain, I think. <sighs> or like not me. really you villain. Who cares? I got to get my life together. <laughs> Well, that's I gotta what... see. I gotta see this shit. We should do. We should do the Twilight movies as commentaries and just knock them out. Oh my god! Wow, that would be I don't know something. if I want to do that. Oh man, you'd get to like you'd get to like the fifth movie, and it's like, well, there's three of us because one of us hung ourselves. <laughs> one just started walking. Yeah, totally. We haven't uh, seen him. Yeah, Chris works for Greenpeace now. Uh, <laughs> He's really doing something with himself. Really so what, what were you saying like 10 minutes ago? There was a funny what? Oh, no. There's just a really funny piece uh, that Mallory or- Ortberg wrote for The Toast about uh, it was the, this new breed of vampire. And it's just uh, Yorkshire Terriers. And it's her just basically <laughs> talking about Yorkshire Terriers. But like and they're, they're not, you know, they could stay in the sun and all this stuff. Yeah. But they're, they're seriously vampires. You know, it's, it's that, <laughs> yeah. that kind of twist. It's just it's so frustrating to me. Here's another twist. Uh, this was based on a fake anime comic. It's not. What? It's not based on anything. No, I know. That's what I just said. Oh, yeah. It's fake. Yes, exactly. The, you fucking faked wait, that wait, this wait. was based on a the comic The comic book. was fake, but the movie was fake. <laughs> that's yes. right. Yeah. That was when this true. When this movie's trailer leaked onto the internet. Yeah, it's got the same hilarious. opening of Mallrats. It, it does. does. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. LaFours should have yeah. been in this movie. Well, LaFours would have taken out well, the trash in this Mike, movie. Man. I mean, Michael Rooker gets you two grades up just yes. by being in the Ethan movie. Ethan Suplee gives you two grades. <laughs> I want to. I want to fucking scratch my asshole and then touch a bunch of chocolate covered peanuts <laughs> and then give it to the people who made this movie. I, honestly, eat Jer- up. Jer- I've never been said before. Jeremy London, better movie. Yes. Oh yeah. Literally any movie with Jeremy London is better than whatever Ultraviolet is. <laughs> but yeah, the the start of this movie. Remember it's the like, time he got fake kidnapped? Oh yeah. Did that turn out to be a wait, fake kidnap? No, was wait. that him or his brother? Oh, that's tough. No, I, I, don't I think know. isn't Jason the one that's put together? Wait, yeah, aren't they the same? The <laughs> wait, one. wait, isn't it like one just wears a hat sometimes? I think it, well, I think he's multiple man. <laughs> that's how all twins. Oh my operate. god, yes. <laughs> Jer- Jason and Jeremy London are multiple man. I mean, I've never seen him in the same movie. Jody London, Jack. I think Jack London actually uh, called well, the Wild Jack London. Yeah, was a lot like is him. exactly. <laughs> Wait, Jeremy no, oh, no, no, he was yeah. a wolf boy. <laughs> <laughs> he was like that Taylor Lautner. He liked taking his shirt off and turning into wolves. Uh, yeah, but the start of this movie, it's like a comic book intro, and it's like, you wish you were based on an anime, you piece of shit wannabe movie. Well, I had to be like, is this like a web comic? I'm not, like, now I'm going to Google. In 2006? <sighs> yeah. I thought it was like, oh man, what's Marvel getting up to now? <laughs> I but, thought I, I really did think it was an anime. I thought it was like a manga. It, I mean, it wants to be yeah, like it this movie does. jerks off fantasizing that it was a successful comic. If book. it was an anime, it would be better. Like it, yeah. I would have at least something to look like. It would look, it would look designed. better. Yeah. Well, this whole thing was reverse engineered because they made like an anime spinoff TV sequel. What? That is. Oh, yeah. In existence. Okay. It's called like Ultraviolet, and then I think maybe there's some numbers in it or uh, something. Zero, zero, six or something. Yeah, it was like Agent Fart Knuckle 589. <laughs> Agent Fart Knuckle, <laughs> by the way. Uh, that's, that's a bad he, Hanna Barbera He looks cartoon. over the Fast Fives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy. He's like the chief. <laughs> Agent Fart Knuckle. Oh, I am reporting to Agent Fart Knuckle. <laughs> Played by Brian Dennehy. Ooh, yes. oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. He'd be a masterful Agent Fart knuckle oh yeah man he just squeezes his knuckles and they get all like red and shit and like oh. get ready for the fu- wait come on man he's gonna give it to him <laughs> ultraviolet colon code zero four four is uh, according to the wikipedia gazette here it's an anime series loosely based on the science fiction film ultraviolet Oh, okay, so that's cool. great. Okay, so great. this is a science fiction film. We've yeah. narrowed that down. <laughs> yes. Science fiction stories. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess technically. What if uh, what if Marty McFly told uh, 
uh, uh, George McFly to write Ultraviolet. You think he'd get hung? Like instead Marty of Marty or George? Like, yeah. what, what would happen to the timeline? Yeah, exactly. Like, what would it, the, the fucking McFlys are destitute? Oh yeah, they would have been. He, George McFly would have been killed in prison long, long ago. Oh, actually, though, squad. maybe he writes the first Ultraviolet book, right? And then what happens is it turns out to be like Scientology. Oh shit! And the McFlys actually become this huge fake religion dynasty. George McFly is the master. Yeah, he's on his boat all the time. Yeah, well, that could totally happen. Marty, he's drinking paint thinner. We have to pretend we're vampires. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hemophage, Biff. <laughs> Man, you ever see those people that like pretend that they're vampires? That's a subculture. That's a, that is a subculture. It's a sad know. subculture. I don't know if we're doing that anymore or that was like a 90s thing. Is Maybe that over it, with? No, it's on. still it's, happening. It's anything you could think of is happening yeah. now. Right in the second. Yes. The number the numbers have definitely dwindled, <laughs> but I don't I think we're still in. All right. Oh, nobody else is pretending to be vampires. It's just real <laughs> nice. It's okay. getting harder to get laid at these conventions. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. <laughs> That's not never been true. Not if you're sinewy Bill Nye. <laughs> Jeez, how, how much Viagra does he need to pump into his blood? <laughs> Right, come on, liquid. Like, come on, that dude's not getting an erection naturally. <laughs> you don't think so? No way. It's Bill bl- Nye, he's out of business. It's black magic. <laughs> out of business. It's black magic, or it's like science gone mad. <laughs> I side with black magic in that. <laughs> So she's like breaking into this building at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Well, no. Well, first it's the the, the, ball the blood people. bank. Yeah, the ball people. <laughs> oh, right. They're like marbles that turn into ninjas or bowling balls. I thought it was marble bolters. madness movie. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> That's an adaptation that needs to happen. You could fucking figure out a way to make a marble madness and, movie. And the way it's constructed, you could put rampage in there too. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Get, get, ramp- get an ape to be tearing up this. place. That too. rampage movie is coming. Though. It is coming. Is, is it really? really? From Brad Peyton, man. Yeah, it Dwayne Johnson's gonna, gonna, gonna star in it. Do, no way. Yes. As, yeah. As which monster? No, I think it's he's the hero. It's probably gonna be like San Andreas, oh, yeah. but with like a monkey monster yeah. and a werewolf and, and a, a lizard Godzilla. person. Yeah. Hmm. All, right. All right. It's yeah, gonna that, suck. That, that Don't would, worry about well, it. Well, yeah, because San Andreas was uh, <laughs> garbage. I found San Andreas to be watchable. Uh, yeah. I did. You know what? San Andreas is leaps and bounds better than this. Well, yes. it would have well, to be. <laughs> so, I mean, like, the idea is she is breaks into this facility because she's trying to find a weapon that uh, the Arch Duke, no, the no. Vice Cardinal, Jesus Christ, Draxus, has what a made bunch of horseshit to yes. wipe out the Hemophages. Yes. Is everybody wait, wait. following no, no, along? No, no, Hemophages, is that. The vampires? Yeah, those the, are the not nuts. vampires. From Wait, the, it's called HGV disease. Hold on a second, but isn't he a not vampire? Who? Well, the, oh, spoiler! Don't Fucking don't spoiler me. alert! That's the twist at the end. And like, <laughs> Wait, no, no, I thought from the beginning you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, you know, no, no, he's a vampire. That's what I meant by not vampire, right? What? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> who, wait, by he, who are you talking about? The Draxus. bad guy with the weird Draxus. Eyes. Draxus. Yeah. He's a secret vampire that's only revealed at the end of the movie. Oh, okay. I didn't know but that was But none reveal. of them are vampires. It's a name the media gave them. Oh, <laughs> the media. The news, it's that's fake, how it shows. They fake show- news. <laughs> Yeah, it's that is fake news. There are no. I'm not a vampire. I just like to drink virgin blood. I I, mean, I I'd love to tweet out that uh, there's no vampires in the Trump campaign. We just don't come out until the sun goes down. <laughs> I know. I know. It looks weird that I don't like garlic, but <laughs> it just look at me. Just look stomach. at me. Have you ever seen a vampire look at, look like me? I look disgusting. I am the least vampire you'll ever meet. Thank you. That dastardly Obama left a bunch of holy water in the White House. <laughs> and he, he's a sick or bad guy. And no, it's not because I'm a vampire. Definitely I think not a vampire. Bannon's lower than a vampire, really, when you think of it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Bannon's like he's that Redfield, fucking... Renfield, man. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. No, I think Trump is the secret Renfield dude. Oh, fucking switch shit. that shit. Fucking Bannon's twist. also that fucking fat, gross vampire from Blade 1. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who I think has come up Ooh, on this show now wait for a its 50th wait time. Wait a minute, Steve Bannon as Mojo? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we got these bowling ball people. Yes. They break into a blood bank? Is that uh-huh. the idea? Yes, and but they get killed uh, very quickly. It was actually a sperm bank. Big error on their part. Oh, man, Google Maps <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> they yeah, went dude. to the wrong specialty it's fucking, bank. It's a cum heist. <laughs> 
<laughs> Eric Siska in Come Heist. <laughs> now cancelled. <laughs> now I just have you in like the, the heat uh, wardrobe. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> armor car. I could be like Pacino and you yeah. could be like De Niro, man. Oh, oh can man. I be the could... John Voight? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> no one's lifted that much cum before, man. <laughs> Andrew, you could be like Val Kilmer just shooting cum in the streets. <laughs> totally. Then I get fucking taken out. That'd be awesome. I Actually, won't... you know what a cum heist? You could. This is what the, the plot of cum heist could be, by the way. They're going to break in uh-huh. and they're going to heist out all the cum from people that are like sports stars oh, and geniuses yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. And, and then like stuff. And then like engineer an army of like specialty people. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Like yeah, a, man. But. A bunch of, but things. I will not hesitate. <laughs> Dennis Haysbert is flipping burgers across the street. And he's like, well, I got to get back at the cum game, man. <laughs> man, maybe that's what the movie could be called is the cum game or cum heist oh, calling shit. the cum game. <laughs> can we get some Tom Noonan in there again? Yeah, too? Oh, oh yeah. you can always get some. You always can find some time to squeeze in some Tom. It's Noonan. just out there. It's just out there. <laughs> Now I just want to rewatch Heat. Yeah, of course. Which, which Maybe we'll take the rest movie. of the episode of live commentary of us just <laughs> casually watching Heat. <laughs> I'll go get the DVD. Hang on a yeah. second. Everybody stay tuned. We'll order some pizzas. We'll have the call on the phone. That'll I be mean, good. You know, <laughs> All right. If you haven't seen Ultraviolet, this honestly isn't a movie. There's like four things that happens, and it's the, wor- it's the worst looking thing you'll ever see. The Can we CGI. talk about how it looks? Yes. 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 So, Eric, you were just touching on the CGI. Of the <laughs> Man... The fucking helicopters, it's a Windows 98 screensaver. <laughs> yeah. That's was, all it is. I was These are hel- helenopters, by they get, the way. They got a camera fake. in a SimCity. Like, <laughs> How'd you get right? that camera in a SimCity? <laughs> this takes place in a SimCity. Yeah, Like does. when you play SimCity too long and like everything, you reach a point where the only thing that can stop you is natural disasters. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, but you refuse to do it because you're power hungry. You're I've been f- there with yeah. SimCity. And you start pretending you're a fake vampire. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> you call yourself Draxus? <laughs> Oh, man. If I ever start calling myself Draxus, someone please have me kidnapped and deep You get fired? Well, I got a question. Why is, he the, why is he the vice cardinal if he's the... Like, who's the cardinal then? Who cares? Where's well, the Pope? Oh, maybe we're setting up... Uh, uh, they're like, holding out for Pacino to be the, the cardinal. He might do it. Oh, in the next Ultraviolet oh, 2. Oh, please. Ultraviolet 2. Cardinal Sins. Oh, oh shit. With sins with a Z? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Pacino and Simone. Are in this movie together. <laughs> Simone is a movie I'd rather watch four times in a row oh, than ever course. see this again. So she, one, her look is like you know she's your Mila Jovovich. She's wearing leather pants. It's what we're doing in these movies. Like, we're getting a different angle on this ass, mm-hmm. like twelve different ways. Well, sure. it's it's like cheap Eon Flux. Yes, it is very cheap Eon Flux. It's, it's, it's also cheap Resident Evil. Like this is like this movie is kind of, and at one point she gets naked and it looks very much like the Fifth Element. It's like being in Mila Jovovich hell. Like, literally, <laughs> everything is personalized to Mila Jovovich. I did want, like, a, a stoner character just hanging out. Like, Rory Cochran you, comes in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but nary a Run Lola Run reference. She's not in that. Who's that woman? That's uh, Franca Patente. Patente. Oh, Franca Patente, of course. Pardon me. I'd rather watch that, that movie or any movie Tim Tickver ever directed. I would rather watch any movie. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Yes. We're just going to keep, gonna keep on throwing titles at Eric here's, and here's, see if we can beat one. Here's what's better than this movie. One time I was really bored at work and on my lunch break I was like eating a huge Subway sandwich and I was going through horror franchise fan films on uh, YouTube. Uh, no. And I saw this thing where it was like, Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger and Jason table. Voorhees <laughs> all dumping on this glass table. What? Yeah, dude. Are you serious? No. <laughs> but it was like it was like the origin of Freddy Krueger and had the police investigation that got him in all this garbage. Wait, so, so it's just a dude playing a janitor? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It was a spooky janitor. And then like the end of the movie, it's like, dun, dun, dun. Here comes Leatherface, more team up, cliffhanger, all this stuff. That fucking pathetic fan film better than this movie that is a, a depressing story you just told fan <laughs> films why is there so much like reliance on the team up thing because like, why can't it's you... like that's your dreams coming yeah. true 
but that, but that's that's, such that's a sad the hot dream. fudge on top of the cold fudge. What is it, your dream? Be like if you love Freddy Krueger, make a good Freddy Krueger. No, short. Okay. But don't make don't decadence, bring... Eric. Decadence. <laughs> and eighty percent of it is the costume reveal. Like once you've revealed what your Freddy Krueger yeah. costume looks like, you're like, well, what else am I going to do? Well, this is what Michael Myers' costume looks like. Well, it's just I... it's 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 fan fiction put to film, mm-hmm. right? So like all those I prefer slash put to film. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Well, sure. well, you can't put those on YouTube. Uh, speaking of fan. <laughs> And slash, actually, what if uh, um, someone who really liked Guns and Roses? <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. It's, so then Axel comes out, right? It's 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 um uh, Goodwill Hunting. The, uh, an alternate ending to Goodwill Hunting is he stays in Boston. He mm-hmm. doesn't go see about it, girl. Okay. And then he starts uh, cutting up children. Oh. And to get him back, they lock Goodwill Hunting in a boiler. Yes. And oh, now it's shit. genius Freddy Krueger Goodwill Hunting. Yes, well, wasn't I like he this. a genius to begin with? And that's how he was able to traverse like the afterlife? Hey, that makes perfect sense. There you go. He, no, yeah, he had he all those math like, equations in his head. He just like swore <laughs> revenge. I feel like if you're well, being he's... slowly killed and you have the foresight to swear revenge, you can come back from the dead. Um, oh, wait. Is that how Jesus did it? <laughs> 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 he decided to swear revenge <laughs> on all those Romans crucifying him. That's why he came back. Oh man, that's cool. So um, <laughs> she <laughs> she gets this like weird little boogie board that is a, a suitcase. We're told right because like the start of this movie. Speaking of cum heist, I mean this is like. She's, she's on. Pre- she's pretending to be a courier, right? She's like on a job, and she's supposed to pick up this and thing. There's all this awesome, tacular violence. Well, they're like they're doing. I mean, these security clearances take ten minutes off of this movie's runtime. They're like, "Hey, man, are you XPD one five four? And she's like, "Why, yes, I am XPD one five four. And now I'm going to be put through all this rigorous testing in order to get this briefcase, including getting naked, which is totally a body double because she would never get naked. She's like, "Yeah." No thanks. Does she get naked in any of those Resident Evil movies? No, I think she's she only naked in, in uh, Fifth Element. She's she's like she's in of, like a tub. Like they're, they're like housing her in a tub in one of them. Oh, is Wait, that right? Is she a precog? <laughs> oh, similar. Yeah, kind of in a similar. But Wait, like is a, she driving more like she, in um, Starship she, Troopers when he's healing up. And they're and he having or the, that bath. The, the back to tank. Oh, oh yeah, Star that Wars. As well, yes. yes. Okay, so we're not talking about uh, you know one of the ladies piloting the Battlestar Galactica or anything. No. Anyway. <laughs> what, do uh, they drive that ship naked on that show? Oh, fuck. No, the Cylons. Do, yeah, right? you were talking about the Cylon ship. Man. Oh, the base star. What an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> It's the base star. If you haven't unsubscribed from this show already, <laughs> you just did. Because well, you know Eric what? mixed Listen. up Battlestar and Base Star <laughs> like an idiot. Listen, we're drowning here, okay? <laughs> we're trying to get this past is, the first but, 20 but minutes. We're drowning is, in a cum heist. This is definite proof. That the fucking list of request month wasn't rigged. Yes, exactly. <laughs> because yeah, we are Jesus. fucking drowning. <laughs> It's uh, just horrible. What's what's more horrible is I oh, I need, I wish we had a fucking phone number for Stephen from Charlotte. Yeah, no, no, get Stephen from Charlotte to fucking guest on this show and I, just no, no, talk no. about that time you decided to watch this movie. I want the ex girlfriend to guest on the Abs- show. Yeah, oh, her too. It. Yeah. Oh, we could trick we could trick Stephen from Charlotte, oh, get him it. on the show, and then and then Jamie or whoever she's on the show too, and it's like a Jerry Springer like super. That would be great. Yeah, bring him out from the curtain. And this becomes our biggest episode, and the whole format changes. That's all we do from. <laughs> now on oh yeah man just a bunch of a bunch of like montel sneaks oh yeah man doing paternity tests and shit <laughs> so she uh grabs this case and she well, finds but and the security measure i want to mention they oh please inject her eyeballs which, oh right which, yeah <sighs> like the weird like fucking droid shit they make that her comes like out. mouth like stay open it's really yeah. like weird and unsettling yeah, it's like this is very uncomfortable <sighs> <laughs> that, no, that's just me watching the movie. <laughs> well, I mean, this is from the mind of Kurt Vimmer, who made Equilibrium, which is uh, uh, Fahrenheit 451 for very stupid people. I've oh, is that what that movie is? Yeah, because yeah, never... yeah. there are people like here's... it is. It is better than Ultraviolet. I'll say that. Much. Okay, because I've never seen it. But here's the thing about Equilibrium: if you're ever on like, if you're ever, <laughs> if you're ever on a killed time at work <laughs> website, you know where it's like. 
the 20 most underrated Pudu oh, flat. Oh, please. That movie will just s- fucking sneak fart into like the bottom <laughs> of those lists, and there are people that will defend it. But I've never had the desire to watch At it. At the very least, it's got Christian Bale in it. It's got uh, Christian Bale. Yeah. It's right. got Better Fighting. It's got Tay Diggs. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's got Sean Bean. Ooh. Oh, Sean Bean. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> does he get of, killed? Yeah, of course he does. Very, very early on in the that's movie. That's all he does. Very <laughs> early on in the movie. Because I tried to rewatch it because I was like, is it an episode or is it even a good movie? I, look, I, I mean, like, and I, I, I retract very stupid people. Where I put uh, a saw in it. Gun kata. Gun kata. That's the that's the, the martial art that he invented. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's great. It's karate guns. <laughs> Which he doesn't <laughs> reprise in this film. Why isn't No, this is gun kata. Is I it think. gun kata? This yeah, is she's karate. She's a white kata. belt though, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's gun kata, but there's a little bit of sword kata going on yeah. in here. By the way, Kurt Vimmer has only directed one other movie, and it was 1996's One Tough Bastard with Brian Bosworth. Yeah, yeah, I want to actually check that. I want to do that. I want to do uh, the other Brian Bosworth movie, The Boz, Stone Cold, which is a great oh, film. Yes. yes, that is that is, is a great movie. Yeah, it's a, it's is a that, great that's American... the one with the Lance Henriksen, right? Yeah, that's that's a. I think Criterion's putting it out next year. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> it's. I, th- I thought it was on their July calendar. <laughs> yes. Wow, actually, so hang on. Future episode written by Kurt Vimmer, Sphere. Oh, yeah. This dude he's also written, wrote... Written Steve, how many times have you seen Sphere? Oh, my God, at least 55. What the, I think, what I, the fuck's I, wrong with you? Did you fall a, down a fucking Sphere staircase like <laughs> Dustin Hoffman in that movie? It would be a contest, actually, to see who's watched that movie more, me or Steve. There was one what? summer There was one summer where HBO had it on, and I just, I just made a, a season out of it. Oh, man. I've rarely seen Eric Moore incensed. <laughs> I saw Sphere in the theater, and I was like, nope. <laughs> you, know, you know, if I saw it in theaters, I probably wouldn't have liked it, but it, it was an HBO movie. It was yep. just around. Mm. All you right, got, so you, got, look. you got an open bag of Doritos? Dude, man, <laughs> once that Sphere trailer hit, I was like, we're going. Get your coat. <laughs> wow, really? No, I, I rented I, I, HBO. I think I rented it first, and then it was on HBO, and it's like, yeah, man, that movie's on in the summertime. You get yourself a big bag of Doritos. You get yourself some Pepsi, and you definitely get yourself some air conditioning. Oh, yeah. You'll watch Sphere 12 and times get rid of in your a week. shame uh-huh. real quick. Look at this fucking screenplay lineup, though. The Point Break remake, the Total Recall remake, awful, awful. Salt, Law-Abiding awful, Citizen, awful. fucking Street Kings, awful. The Recruit, also awful. The Thomas Crown Affair remake, kind of good. My oh, God. Boy. So anyway, this movie that he wrote and directed, fucking turd fest. So she gets this case and like the whole time they're like, don't open whatever you do with the don't open the case. Right. Don't open the Never case. Never open the case because then if the cum spills everywhere, Either, what yes. are you going to do? <laughs> if you have to destroy the cum. Uh, explode it. <laughs> right, there is... the cum. Listen, man, you better get some extra baggies if you're doing a cum heist. <laughs> you want to wrap that shit up twice to make sure if it if it were to jostle in the truck and break, you know, it's just look. You got you got to promise me this one thing. If <laughs> if if the cum heist tomorrow goes wrong, you're gonna take care of Ashley Judd for me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just just promise me that. I know she's cheating on me, but like I want you really. to hold her tight, like like a Jimmy Hat would. <laughs> oh. This is the life of a guy. <laughs> you never know when the heat's coming down. <laughs> you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't say. You, you don't have anything in your life that you're not allowed to, uh, ready to give up in a second for a good cum heist. <laughs> <laughs> so she looks in this case, and there's a fucking boy stuffed in there. It's Cameron so Bright. weird. It's so. And they it's don't like, explain well, it's it. It's like it's like there's like a dimension in there or something because like there's a. It looks like, like stay tuned. I it's thought Mary she was going to go down there. Fucking carpet bag, dude. It's the fucking from Pee Wee Herman. It's just like, <laughs> hello. And he doesn't say anything, and he's a creep. Yeah, it's Cameron Bright from Birth, and he's also in that, is it the third X-Men movie? The third yes. X-Men movie. He's in uh, A Godsend, which is a terrible movie. That is a really Oh, that's De Niro's movie. like a child psychiatrist yeah, or something? That's, that's not even a movie to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about Godsend. <laughs> not in this house, your house. Man, we should have vetoed this pick. Mm-hmm. If only we knew. So she uh, she realized it. And we, hey, there's a boy in there! She does, and we've already learned in a really clumsy opening that she has had a miscarriage due to her hemophagia 
Uh, or right. the government took her baby or One something. One or the other, yeah. The government took my baby. Well, that's the thing. Oh. Planned Parenthood got so powerful. Yeah. They yeah. started oh. stealing good babies. Their yeah. secret Just Nazi roots came out ripping finally. Ripping them right out. Mm-hmm. Ripping yeah. them right out with right. all that government funding. Mm-hmm. That's ripping them right out. That's what they do, man. You, ripping you, them right mm-hmm. out. That's a ripping they factory. They, they built a factory in the back of Planned Parenthood. You know, they just I, have a ripping factory going on. The back. <laughs> I heard of one time a lady was walking by the Planned Parenthood and she was going to have a baby, but then, like, they came out and took it. So they, <laughs> they're like, nah. They just have a little hunchback, like, shuffling over. <laughs> and, and you can blame me, Edgar Q. Planned Parenthood. And the la- <laughs> <laughs> I stole your baby. <laughs> and now I shall eat him. And, and the lady didn't even know for, like, a few days later. <laughs> yeah. It's a rough life oh, like and then, that. And then he's like, here, take this chihuahua. And it was, oh, my God, it was a rat. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the lady, like, rose a, r- rose a rat. <laughs> yes. She, started nerf- she used yeah. all the clothes from the child, mm-hmm. and she dressed up the rat. Can for you many imagine years. a rat wearing a T-shirt? A onesie. And, and, it was a, a little onesie. And then the lady named it Rizzo, and it became friends with the Muppets. Oh, oh, that's how that got started. Oh. <laughs> Rizzo and then, Origins. And then, and then one time they took Manhattan. <laughs> Rizzo begins. <laughs> government funding. All the government funding in the world. <laughs> Oh, by the way, here's some very inexpensive mammograms. <laughs> Take this, a free cancer screening. <laughs> One free cancer screening for your baby. Mushroom cloud. <laughs> Better movie than ultraviolet. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The evil so she party. takes this baby suitcase back to like this group of other vampire refugees yes. or something. And they have sharp teeth and she doesn't and I'm not sure how this works. Man, the entire fucking movie I somehow had this flip. That was like the people in power are vampires and they don't they're not. <laughs> To my, to my defense, I did fall asleep during this movie. Were, did you accidentally watch Daybreakers again? Oh, that movie sucks. It's not very good. I mean, what it's so much better than this movie, but oh, it sucks. by huge measures. Uh, it's, a, it's a world of vampires and... The vampires rule over everything. Is yeah. this Ethan Hawke? Yes. Ethan Hawke and, and Willem Dafoe. Dafoe. Oh, yipe. Yeah, yeah and not good. Like, the only thing I remember is there's like blood, there's like blood coffee you can get. Oh yeah, you get blood good. everywhere. Yeah, kind of looked pretty good. Looked, like, is it like it's like a Starbucks for like blood coffee. I'm like, I can yeah. go for that. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't like those things where it's like vampires are just like a casual part of society mm. or future vampire stuff. Like, well, the, mo- the most futuristic I can go with vampires is Blade. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, Willem Dafoe is a separatist in it, and he's living out in the country. You might side with him in that one. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I, I do need like dark cloaks. I'd like, you know, a castle. You know, it's a vampire. You know, things that vampires have. Precisely. They yeah, they in... shouldn't all look like Backstreet Boys. <laughs> yeah, they Which should... they really do. They like, really, they, guys, yeah. These guys look like an Eastern European Backstreet Boys <laughs> knockoff. Oh my god! And they want her. They want to shoot the kid in the in the in the, the little tub suitcase. There. Ah! <laughs> this is my favorite movie, <laughs> Killing Kids. <laughs> and I don't like there was a you faked it and like the 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 kid in the suitcase was is a, a fake. It was a hologram. A hologram Chris. and Dude. Cameron Bright is outside <sighs> waiting for her. These we... fucking hologram fake outs in this well, movie. The, the thing is you never understand what this culture so like Apparently, all it takes is a really, really bad, debilitating plague to hit humanity, and yeah. then like technology goes off the rails because yeah. we have like, we have like anti gravity belt that she's wearing. She uses that for the first twenty minutes of this movie oh, and, and the, never again. All it's, leftover funds get funneled into technology. I guess so. <laughs> well, I think it's a thing where it's like, oh, we're so fucked. We better start believing science again. Oh. I don't, it's really weird because she does this thing and then you like do a super zoom on like a little ball that has like a little it looks like a sour patch and then like kind of fizzles out kind of Wait, oh it- oh it goes like inside the device yes. and it's like I mean all of this is such cheap shit it looks so bad it's like a G grade matrix it's all awful and it's like we're gonna we're gonna bend gravity and like at the start of this movie I was like well this is clearly terrible but yeah. 
okay, we're doing stuff with physics. Maybe that's something. No. Sure. They do it like literally twice and then it's never again. I guess the money just dried up for that special effect. Another thing about The Matrix, though, that you, since you bring it up, which is obviously has a lot to do with this, like at least The Matrix, it always kind of looked hard. Like whenever Neo is like taking yes. down 10 agents, like yeah. he's like having a bit of a trouble with it. You're like, oh, maybe Neo will right. make it and out of this. Tension. One. Oh my God, there's tension. She's just like snoozing and like whenever she wants a gun, it appears in her hand, turns into a sword. It's 40 guys, it's 100 guys, it's two guys. Doesn't matter. They're, they're just being destroyed she, left and right. She like, does well, like, we, multiple things where there's multiple instances of this same exact move where she like bends down and circular like swipes a sword and kills like 10 dudes at once. It, this is a movie that has a cheat code on the entire she, time. And, and she's also when she's shooting, it's like she's doing a magic trick yes. with like CGI things on the end of it like. Yeah, she's just not looking. She's not looking she's at where. Just like spray bolts. Chris, just is, spray, Chris spray, spray. is waving his hands around right in her face too. <laughs> well, I think that's supposed to be like the. Oh, gun. What, is this? what is this? A comma heist? <laughs> that's like the gun kata part of it. Yeah, yeah. it's like if I just artistically but, dance my hands around. And in this exit, she does. She ends up driving a motorcycle up a uh-huh. skyscraper. And then is able to like flip it around and like go through a helicopter and like blow it up and fly away and. It's just annoying. It's it, like it, this it, Supermanism. At least in the Matrix, it made sense because you had that other world thing. There was a backbone. Yes. yes. But, yeah. And also, like he was always sweating the cops. I feel a little bit. Yeah. This, this not at all. And, 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 I mean, I guess we're is she a Mary Sue? I guess so. Um, no, not really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Actually, you can't. Uh, you shouldn't uh, do that, Eric, because your father uh, didn't hand you a career in film. Oh, that's right. And, uh, you know, I bet Max Landis loves this fucking movie, too. <laughs> His new thing looks terrible, huh? Bright? That Will Smith sword oh, movie? They should have named it Dim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bravo. You can write for The Tonight Show with bits like that. Are you jiggling <laughs> dice in your pocket? Uh, uh, no, no, Chris. That's what we call pocket pool. It oh, is a cum heist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chris, we are knee Getting deep ready. in the middle of a cum heist. Getting right ready now. to mix, Steve. <laughs> You've oh, got, man. He's got like a little stop button. <laughs> you know what? You got to be ready. Like, okay, be be polite to everyone you meet, but of always course. know how to mig them. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is, a, this is our associate Spunk Grow. <laughs> <laughs> Here's this guy. He don't talk much. We call him Spider Man. <laughs> Why do you call him Spider Man? You'll see. I feel like Tom Sizemore has robbed at least one sperm bank in his life, right? Oh, sure. He's yeah. definitely <laughs> robbed something. <laughs> but it's to, get, it's to get his guys exactly. out of there. Exactly. <laughs> you got my cup in there. <laughs> Save it. After a divorce, a bad divorce. Yeah. I'm coming for my spunk. My boys. I'm going to get my boys back. They're mine. <laughs> Sizemore could play this character. I'm uh, yeah, okay. Sizemore as ultraviolet would be a better. Movie. Oh my god, big fat Tom Sizemore <laughs> yeah. flipping over people oh, in it. the belly and shirts, and his his little like spiky hair changes color every five. Yeah, minutes. what is with the hair and wardrobe changing color? I think the idea is if you're in a crowd, right? You call, you do like a a, a robbery, and I'm like, like, hey everybody, this is a cum heist. Be cool, <laughs> and you have blue hair. And they're like, oh my god, that has blue hair. And then you go down the street, you turn around. And you have a little cool little device that makes your hair black. It's like, oh, that you you look you're out looking for a guy with blue hair. That, that guy went that oh, away. Oh, I see. But it happens intermittently. It yeah. has totally nothing to do with anything. It's like Random. you're live photoshopping this movie. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just like, like change pigment. Someone knew how to do this stupid little effect in whatever like FX program, mm-hmm. and they just do it willy nilly in this movie. It means nothing. It looks terrible. Yep. And it's just adding onto the pile of shit that, like, you just you you scotch tape all this garbage together, and somehow this was released theatrically. In an that's 80, the crazy thing. In an eighty-seven minute cut, which I couldn't couldn't find, I had to watch the ninety-four. And minute it was one. oh wow, and wow. I got the eighty-eight one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you, I think I did too. And this was in over like two thousand theaters. This was yeah, a, yeah this, this was a wide, wide, wide release. release. This is Screen Gems. But here's the thing: then you read that this movie sold. 
$35 million in DVD sales. This is the problem, people. <laughs> These folks that just indiscriminately, they go to Best Buy. They're like, what's on the new release shelf? Oh, this looks stupid. I'll pick it up. <laughs> no, well, put it down. That, I feel like that doesn't exist anymore. I feel like now it's people who rent well, right. shit on Amazon. or oh, yeah. it's, it's in the 99 cent uh, special yeah, all today. these iTunes people. <laughs> but I will mm. say, those are the exact same people who online rate this movie 7 out of 10. And they're like, well, what did you expect? Some Oscar winner? Like, you well, know what? Go watch something I, else. Well, I, I do... wanted a coherent story. Well, here, that's the one thing I will say. What I what I think the mentality behind the idiots who edited the, this was is like, we're going to cut out anything that isn't the story and we're not going to even show anything outside of the place where the story is at that moment. Yes. Right. We're just going to do it as focused as we can. And action, even action, under action. that, even under those circumstances, it's in, unintelligible. And, and, and as much as possible, we're going to try to relegate the filming of this movie to a bunch of abandoned looking Chinese malls. <laughs> Nothing's yep. going to breathe. Nothing's going to, like, try to take nope. time to, for us to understand. No. Well, and, just, that, and everyone's, like, airbrushed, too. Or, yes. like, or like filtered it all looks horrible. or whatever. It just, everyone looks, like, fucking It's garbage. all, like, ultra soft focus. Remember that anime filter that came out a little while ago that everyone had their little anime pictures that came, like, on Facebook and what have you? What? Uh, oh, was, it, was that, like, a Snapchat filter? Yes. And, like, it was like, oh, look, everybody looks like anime. That's exactly what this movie looks like the entire yeah. time. Uh, the weird thing is, like, so yeah. she catches this kid, right? And she's like, hey, uh, I can't give you up even though I'm a cold-blooded killer, even though we don't really think she's a cold-blooded killer because all she's doing is essentially killing these, like, faceless robots. Everybody's got a mask on. So they it's might as like, well be robots. So it's not like, oh, my God, what a, what a cold-blooded killer. It's like, I don't know. She's killing robots or something. That's her job. She's a robot killer. So uh, but That like, would I, be a better <laughs> movie if she just was walking around killing robots. Yes. Totally. Oh, like... You know, maybe these robots look a lot like humans, and maybe their time is up. Maybe it's Blade Runner. Just maybe it's Blade Runner. <laughs> is that the title of the new movie? <laughs> that is the sequel to Blade Runner, yeah. It's maybe, maybe it's, it's Bla Blade Runner. <laughs> Quick question. Yeah. Yep. Do you watch Sucker Punch again or Ultraviolet again? Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Sucker punch. punch. I, hate punch. Yeah. I hate it, but you know what? Sucker Punch is a movie. Th this makes you respect Zack Snyder quite a bit, to be quite oh honest. Oh, my God. You're right. You hear that, Vimmer? You fucking hear that? No, you hear Ooh. that, Snyder? Yeah, you're man. You're feeling good, aren't you? Man. He's, he's at, he's at, the, he's at uh, Burger King, and he was like, yeah. Oh, he got a little alert. <laughs> get a He's little like, alert. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I will take yeah four piece nuggets too. And what's then, that, what's oh, wait, I'm Zack Snyder. I'll buy this Burger King. <laughs> what's that you got there? You got chicken fingers? Okay, I'll try chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell? So it turns out that like this kid might have antigens in his body that can cure being Hemoph a vampire. Hemophagia. Hemophagia. There, I guess the plot is the bad guys want to take this bot, this boy. And use his body and like liquefy it and spray it in the atmosphere, which is pretty cool. And then that'll <laughs> like poison that. everyone who is a hemophage, right? And then they'd have to go and buy drugs from them to stay alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they want to make everybody a hemophage? No, they. I guess they want to make the hemophages sick. Oh Lord! At least this is my cursory knowledge <laughs> of this. Trying to get a hold on it is really difficult. I will say it's that. a slippery turn. I but thought it was a thing where he could, he could cure the hemophagia. That's why the fucking Archduke Franz Ferdinand was trying to get his hands on this little turd well, so he he's could a kill it. No, he's a weapon. Right, he's a weapon to make oh. the hemophages sicker, but or the maybe rebels, die. The rebels think that they could like. Reverse engineer a cure from his. Oh, I see. Blood. So there's, there's a lot of uh, differing opinions on as to what this little kid can yes, do. Yes, exactly. What you can do with he's there blood. dully at the camera. And this kid's one of the worst actors of all time. Eight years to live, or no, eight hours to live in this yeah, movie. Yeah, he has eight hours to live. She has like 36. You don't really know that. Look, if everyone do. has fucking fruit, fruit fly lives, <laughs> what does anything matter? Well, that's another stupid thing that they're not like vampires in that. The the thing is, if you contract this disease, you live for twelve years. Yeah. Versus a vampire that's immortal, and that's part of the curse of the undead. I would love it if James Earl Jones had to do like a scroll, like, oh boy, what what are we talking about today? <laughs> oh no, what a terrible way to celebrate my twelfth scroll recording. <laughs> <laughs> it is his twelve hundredth birthday. <laughs> 
God, no. I wish he'd lived to 1,200. God he bless should. him. He should. God bless him. Mm. I, actually, the only person that uh, deserves a, uh, like, uh, when he dies is, like, a, a pharaoh's tomb, James Earl Jones. Yeah, he yeah. deserves a whole thing, like, built to him. Yes, exactly. Like, like actually, a 60-foot James Earl Jones in Los Angeles. <laughs> underneath it is the tomb of James Earl Jones <laughs> with all of his possessions and six cats. Oh, I thought That's what I want. I thought you could go full glass case. <laughs> oh, I oh like Mama, Lennon? Yeah, yeah. And I want those cats to like be alive and live and breed like uh-huh. Hemingway's cats. Yes, inside yes. the glass case. Exactly. So that's so you, that's. So you always can visit and be like, oh, that's yeah. like a descendant of James Earl Jones's cats. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's a cool idea. Uh, oh, that reminded me, and I know he's not in the movie, but he was in a recent stage production of Driving Miss Daisy. Cabin's uh, Oscar. Uh, article reminded me you know what society stop telling me that driving miss daisy's a good movie thank yes, you and yes, good night we're all fine it's a piece of shit we're all fine <laughs> it's a piece of shit so it's, it's the it's the academy award winning or academy award nominated dan Aykroyd movie and for that that's sort of something yeah sure by the way i saw re- someone tweeted at us like there was an opening of a house of blues somewhere in some swamp or something <laughs> And Aykroyd and Jim Belushi showed up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, and shit, that's let me tell so you, cool. of course, G- it, what the, it was the, one of the best photographs I've ever seen because Jim Belushi was looking like total fucking ragged garbage, and Aykroyd was looking fantastic. Wow, he's dropped a lot of weight. Oh, good, good for him. He's looking right. really good. All that Crystal Skull vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been subsisting off of Crystal Skull vodka. It's great. <laughs> that and Richard Simmons exercise tapes. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so she almost loses this kid in the mall. There's another fucking fight scene where she takes out like a bunch of like space age yakuza, can, and then this kid's gonna commit suicide. Can we talk about the uh, the portable phone that she buys? It's made out of paper. Oh man, the future. <laughs> Can I just tell you, I don't even remember this part of the movie. Neither it do looks, I. It it's a like paper a, phone? It does. It's like, and it looks like a little, you know, it's like a little punch card. And she's like, beep, boop, pop, beep. She gets it out of like a vending machine. Or does she have to put it up to her ear? How does that function? I, don't, I think so. Oh, Maybe man. Not. It's a burner. You can actually burn. Exactly. <laughs> think about it. Well, right. you could actually burn a burner. Well, you can melt on. that this plastic is, down. But this is easier. <laughs> A quick Wait, burner. Who does she call on this phone? Uh, one of the vampires. Uh, William Fichtner. She's like, oh. hey, man, can I come to your oh, house? Oh, Garth. Garth. Garth, by the way. Dude. Thanks. And his, the, the fucking sweater he's got on is so baggy. It looks so comfy, dude. It's it also very clearly William Fichtner didn't get a haircut for this movie. William Fichtner just was like, yeah, no, Kurt, this- sure. I guess I owe you for equilibrium. He got home at sure. 5 a.m. Uh-huh. And the call was at 7. Mm-hmm. And he just went, man. And Sorry, kinda- this is last night's sweater. <laughs> You and your friends are dead. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I was doing. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, I this guess is last night's sweater. <laughs> the, the the issue with being in a green screen movie is you don't know what it's going to look like. So you show no. up and they're like, "Hey, just you're an actor, just be in front of this green screen." And you're Wait, like, "Do you oh, think he was being mocap? Like he thought he was being mocap?" Well, no. I mean, everything. There's no sets in this movie. You know no. what I mean? Everything looks like everything's green screen shit. So you're like, "Oh yeah," and, and the curve was like, "Oh yeah, it's going to look amazing." We got like. <laughs> Twenty people working around the clock. Yeah, around the clock. Let but, me call. Let me call them. Hey, you guys working on that a lot? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's uh, <laughs> taking a while to render on this gateway computer. <laughs> <laughs> how many? Uh, how many more bags of Cheetos do you fellas need? <laughs> but wait, I don't. They're working on so- food fight and this movie at the same time. <laughs> but you why can only he- save one? <laughs> <laughs> But why is he looking like garbage, though? What is that? What does the CGI have to do with? Oh that? no, I just mean the the world looks like you, you as an actor. Like you walk in, like yeah. I mean, like you can either be in Lord of the Rings or this. You, you know what I mean? As the actor, you're just in a green oh. room, and they're like, "Yeah, it's gonna look great." Don't oh, worry you're saying about he it. thought this was gonna look amazing? Yeah, exactly. And then when he didn't go to the premiere, <laughs> someone told him it was terrible. Well, yeah, he was gonna go to the premiere, but there was one of his favorite Columbo episodes on. He was like, <laughs> oh, uh, come, uh, "Oh yeah, the episode <laughs> called Come Heist." <laughs> <laughs> All right, excuse me. I, uh, three guys go into a sperm bank, and two of them go in with guns, and one's got a bag for cum. I mean, uh, it sounds like a cum I, heist to me. Uh, I think that's the one that was directed and starred John Cassavetes himself. <laughs> one more question. One more question. 
Can I see all the, your shock draw? Can I just see what sh- kind of shocks you got? Now, hang on a second. You're saying they came into this diner and got themselves a couple of omelets before they hightailed it, right? Just, Can I look at those bills? I think someone was slinging webs on those <laughs> bills. Is this the, 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 is this the gold toes you got here? The gold toes on the black? I don't, I don't know. Let me get this right. Now, these boys bought a lot of Kleenex this morning from the supermarket. <laughs> Oh, sounds like a we got a come heist me here, glass eye. He's <laughs> talking to his yeah, glass you're right. eye. <laughs> oh, sounds like a come heist to me. You're the expert, glass eye. How do you yeah. think I got you in the first these, place? All these socks feel like cardboard. <laughs> hey, hey, Peter, it looks like you're trying to read a letter. <laughs> you need help. All right, can I? Uh, w- w- one more, one more question. One more question. Can I see his high school gym shirt? <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Oh, well, no one should listen anyway. So we're, just, <laughs> we're like a skunk getting people away. Well, no, I think this is the end, actually. <laughs> well, there's a great... There's a the great, last we had movie. Uh, <laughs> so this kid's, like, going to commit suicide for some reason mm. in this one scene. He's standing on the edge of a building, and she's trying to pull the old switcheroo. She's like... Oh, can you give me a hand? It looks really cool up there. Can you give me a hand so I can get up there too? And what's awesome, I mean, this is, it proves to you like how terrible this script is. She's like, she uses the word, huh? Yes. Like three times yep. right here. She's like, what are you doing up there, huh? <laughs> and then like, I was like, that's weird. Like it's such a, it's a yes. gross sounding yeah. word like that, you know? And then like. A few minutes later, she she pulls him down. She's like, what were you doing up there, huh? <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, a second time. That's weird. And then, like, kind of a longer <gasps> period of time went by. And then, she, like, and then she lets it slip again later. She's just like, they're still on this roof, like, after the suicide attempt. And she's like, a couple of guys are going to come up here and get you. What do you think about that, huh? And I was like, stop saying, huh? What the fuck's the matter with the, you? Then the Donnie Darko guy came. Why are you stealing my bit, huh? Get out of the road. <laughs> you want to die, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that is very odd. I mean, and like, it's awkward. You know what it's I mean? It's very yeah. awkward. And it's clearly, in, to your point, it's clearly in the script. You know what I mean? Like, and Kurt Wimmer was like, yeah, man, that ha, huh, that's not a, you got to hit that ha. Huh. <laughs> Can we well, take that one more time and just hit that ha? Huh? Well, it's like you put ha huh in there, and I guess, it, you know, it's like, don't say it, but that's just to accentuate, like, the way you need to be asking a question of him or something. Or like, but she's just it like, makes literally. You more, it makes it sound more conversational, I guess. It's just but, I mean, like it's delivered poorly, it's and no one awful. has ever said it's that like, she's a good actress. No, I mean, but she's not a bad actress. She's well, just kind of fine. Her best performance was playing an inconse- incomprehensible alien in <laughs> Fifth Element. <laughs> yeah, a that's great true. Performance. It was a good performance, and that's it. Well, I mean, she's an action star. Like those Resident Evil movies, good or bad, are, are massive. Bad. Well, that's the weird thing. She's found a way to make this career. Like it's a it's a new kind of career that no one's ever had. It's the Mila Jovovich career. Where where you make a bunch of movies where you fight aliens and monsters with big guns and you say stuff. And it's her who, and Kate Beckinsale. But yeah. who is seeing these movies? Somebody, and, I'm, and I'm including Underworld in this conversation. Who is going out to these movies? Diehards. These are two huge uh, franchises. Each of them, like, what were we saying before we went on the air? One of them's got, like, five? There's One's five, the other's six, I think. Jesus Christ. Six, yeah. Yeah. What are we doing? That's crazy. There is a base. I'm telling you, there is this base that is like as long as the like a genre- star killer base. Well, a genre <laughs> signifier of science fiction or fantasy yeah. is well, fucking hooked but onto it. But that's the thing is, it's like it's it's the dumb versions of that. You know what I mean? Yes, but they will take whatever you got. Well, some of them will. The yes, dumb a, ones enough to sustain a very a, a very successful franchise. Even I mean, from Charlotte's ex girlfriend, fucking loved it. And I mean, look, look, I get it. I like stupid shit all the time, mm, man. Sure, like yeah. I'm sitting you around. Gotta, watching... You got to put something on when you smoke meth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the only way these movies are still being made, right? Oh yeah, I mean, I guess we should try to figure that out. Like, let's see if we could enhance the experience a little bit. <laughs> maybe, maybe tall glasses of water and cut it these days. Let's, let's take a pause. Let's do something a little harder now. Mm-hmm. The gang oh. gets hooked on meth. Oh, that's man. how you get through a Resident Evil movie. Uh, I mean, I saw the meth. first Resident Evil movie in the theater, and I was like, "This is terrible." And I was a fan that's, of the game or some of the games. That's what I thought too. I liked the game, and I went and saw the movie, and I was like, "My life is terrible and it's <laughs> shit." <laughs> And I, I didn't go back. I didn't go fucking buy a ticket for two through ninety. 
Yeah, no, but there's people. It's either like in theaters or fucking on Blu-ray, man. People are eating these movies up. Somebody has to. I don't get it. Who are you? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Maybe there's there's got to be something going on. Like it's like a money laundering scam or something. Oh, yeah. Like it's just like the mafia <laughs> buying tickets or something. I don't know why. Yeah, we yeah. to buy out all these theaters for Resident Evil Apocalypse. <laughs> 400 for Underworld Vampires Unleashed. <laughs> Is yeah, that, is that the name of it? No, no, no it no. might as well be though. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, let One's me get. Like, uh, yeah, I love uh, uh, dark horror movies. Yeah, give me uh, three hundred tickets to uh, Underworld Werewolves Go to Fuck Around. <laughs> three hundred <laughs> tickets. <laughs> Yeah, me and my old fucker family, just give me the tickets. <laughs> yeah, it's like a private birthday party or something. I don't know, whatever. All I ain't right, watch now it. you just can't leave, and you got to watch all the underworld. Dude, this is a, like, if we ever get cum, cum heist made, we got to do this scam with the mobsters, uh -huh. right? So that we can make cum heist seven. <laughs> That's right. If we want the cum heist franchise to really take off, That's we're going to need the mafia's Dude, cooperation. Just listen to this. Cum heist six, mission to Moscow. But that that's the problem. <laughs> All right, yeah. Let me get a uh, six hundred tickets to uh, come heist. Uh, you know, can I get a Fandango? How do we, how does Fandangos work? Oh, this app ain't working. I can't <laughs> buy six hundred tickets on this app. This uh, Show your Wi Fi's for shit. <laughs> <laughs> the plus sign only goes up to fifty. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is four DX? <laughs> Keep stirring that Wi Fi. <laughs> Oh my god, 4DX, it smells like cum in the theater. Oh, I like it. no way <laughs> would I go to that. Well, what if, what if the filmmakers themselves are the ones <laughs> who, who provided this scent? Yeah, why, why did you go to this screening? It costs 20 two. extra dollars and it smells like New York in 1983. <laughs> these two guys in suits jerking off in front of the <laughs> If it's, that's where the extra money goes oh, in front God. of the screen. You see what you did? And never cleaning you, up. You see what you did, Steven, in North Carolina, you fucking son of a bitch. Yeah, you got a spit take out of Andrew for that one. I want an email from this ex-girlfriend. Yeah. What was your problem, madam? Yeah, or Steven, explain the whole thing. Because, I mean, you wait, 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 wait. I just realized something. We're judging this woman. Maybe it was a thing where around. it was his idea, and uh, she was like, oh, you shit. fucking scumbag. <laughs> I don't think people in Charlotte talk like no, that. Probably no, not. But, probably But for the not. purposes of this impression, she said, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> I don't you believe. Made me, you made me go see this movie. I wasted a fucking Saturday <laughs> night on your wrinkled balls I watching this movie. <laughs> don't believe Staten Island is in North Carolina. Well, it's, a, but, it's a real it's, transplant town, man. Sure. You know. Sure. When Bank of America moved their headquarters down there, a lot of people had to change their lives. Oh, so witness, relo <laughs> witness, witness relocation, relocation program. program yeah. There is an asshole living in 4R. <laughs> <laughs> Ultraviolet. He, he's, he's already in theaters. <laughs> Yep. I want you to know there's a person with terrible movie taste living in he, your building. He left his wallet at home. I had to pay. And for the drinks, too. Yeah, living in North Carolina was no treat. I ordered spaghetti, got egg noodles and ketchup, and ultraviolet on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely had dinner at a Romano's macaroni grill. I mean, like, whatever. So she goes to William Fichtner, and William Fichtner's like, oh... This kid's got the cure, or maybe he's the poison. I don't know. By I don't way, know. I'm just Garth. By the way, there's, like, trackers on him. And this is where it kind of gets confusing. Uh, the kid picks up a, a, a magazine, and he's like, hey, Violet. Her name's Violet. Um, Ultra Violet. What is this place? It's a playground. She's like, oh, you know, they don't have those anymore, right? right. Am, I, am I getting this wrong? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't have those anymore. Uh, that's only exists in fantasy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You want to go to this, huh? And she, so, so she's like, that's fake. But then later they're there. Was that a dream or what happened? No, they go there because that kid drops dead. Yeah. So like, Wait, they, so that's heaven? But it looks like a dream. Like they shoot it and enter it. The like whole it's a thing dream. is in fucking soft focus. You can't tell what's real and what's reality. So her thing is like, we got to go to the big facility and we'll either find a cure or we won't. And they go there and the guy pulls that. Draxus is like, hey, man. 
I've got 400 soldiers. What are you going to do? And she's like, 400 soldiers. And I'm like, you've killed 300 people before this happened. That, that might make me break a sweat. Yeah, exactly. You're in, you're invincible lady. Like, she's like, oh, oh, hang on. I was scared for a second, but I forgot I got a game genie stuck up my ass. <laughs> I mean, she might as well. This going to be ain't no thang. She does go to a uh, a park with this kid, and, like, he starts to die. She cries on him, and he dies, and it's right. real sad. Oh, well, then the tears then the, killed her. Then Draxel, or whatever his name is. Draxus. Draxus drops back in. So Draxus, by the way, we can get into He's got, like... He's like a germaphobe because you would have to be, right? Like, is that why he's got these like nose implants? Yes. Yeah, like boy, is this plugs. stupid. They it looks filter really the uncomfortable. Air, I yeah, guess. it looks really uncomfortable. But like, it doesn't make any sense because you're breathing through your mouth anyway, a little bit, or you're talking. Like, you're exposed. Either yeah. be in a fucking hazmat suit or do not. Yeah, or like he's some got, like, sort really of futuristic sexy gloves on the whole time. Maybe he's got like a force field around him this... and he can just look normal. Mm-hmm. Also, it'd be this nice. movie would be so much better if he was in a diving bell the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Mandel watches me like, ooh, I like that. <laughs> I mean, those things I like that. It's cr- it's crazy to say this, but can we spend more time with this character? Can we understand what he's about? Yeah, no. it's like he's you know? not even he's not even like two D. Like this is a one dimensional nothing character. Exactly. Give you know what? Flip the movie. Give me his movie. It's like the Aviator. <laughs> but with vampires and blood. The way of the future. The way of the future. The way of the future. Sticking stuff up my nose. Sticking stuff up my nose. <laughs> I don't. I mean, like, uh, he does have this really cool coffee. <laughs> so, like, um, he hires the vampires at a certain point, right? The vampires come and they're like going to kill him. Oh, right. He cuts a deal with all of her friends. This Eastern European boy band, and like, he's got this like incredibly like he's such a germaphobe, but he fills this coffee cup to the fucking brim, and it's the most. Imp- it's a triangular coffee cup. I'm like, dude, this is a terrible idea for a coffee cup. Well, I think it's a thing where you're supposed to show, like, because he fills it to the brim. Yes. And then he fires this gun wildly. Yes. And then takes a sip of the coffee like, oh, I'm so cool. I didn't even, like, spill a drop of it. Who I, gives a shit? Yeah, something doesn't make even, this character Something cool. even Renny Harlan could communicate to me <laughs> through a movie. But I couldn't figure that out from this. Renny Harlan. <laughs> Man, we're just praying for Renny Harlan. <laughs> like, we wish we got Renny Harlan. Waiting for Renny Harlan. <laughs> So this kid's dead, and then also Draxus uh, shoots uh, Mila Jovovich in the back or in this back. playground. Yeah. By the way, we also realize we find out at some point that he's Draxus's clone, right? And yes. his name is Six. By the way, V one. He's six of eight clones. I guess is the idea. Yes. There is. I'm going to have to read it off the MDB. Uh, sure. Get, um, it's a piece of trivia. Did anyone else read this about the? Kurt Vimmer's fan theory about this movie? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the, the, no. the filmmaker has a fan theory about his Yes, movie. I'm not even kidding you. Well, he loves to laugh. <laughs> he He's loves his own work. He's a very imaginative person, Eric. God, you gotta man, admit. I just wanted to rip my fucking brain out and throw it on the wall, <laughs> like, in pieces. My like, fan theory was that when the movie was over with, like, Kurt Vimmer himself would come out on screen and be like, gotcha. <laughs> oh, really? I thought it was the Ring video. Oh, shit. Well, I only finished it watching is, but this like an seven hour days, ago. But seven days later, you get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask Stephen from Charlotte. Uh-huh. Do you think that whole thing played out? Like, it was really yep. awkward in their house for like seven days. Mm-hmm. And then she was finally like, you know what? I'm so fucking done with this. You made me go see this movie. I'm in the telling theater. you, she probably had to pay for the tickets. And right. He just didn't oh, want to go to the fuck, ATM to dude. get money out because he's a lazy shit and he got used to debit cards. <laughs> I'm so much more fascinated with the world of Stephen from Charlotte and this breakup. Okay, well, it's 2006, so everything in life is terrible. Right, yeah, 2006 also, was I a hard to time. Mention this. Like, th- this movie also feels like it's... Um, that W. Bush era, like hysteria over oh, stem yeah. cells. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Oh totally. Happen? Totally. Well, totally. Totally. The other thing science I thought run of. Amok, that's gonna... why medical science engineers are indeed like Nazis. In you this know, movie. there's like in Burn After Reading. You know how there's that like fake movie that they keep like cutting. Like George Clooney goes to see it and it's Justin Long and it's a fake oh, romantic yeah, comedy. Yeah. This feels like the fake movie, like inside of a Sylvester Stallone movie, <laughs> right. or like yeah. It would be like this would be like 
a minute of screen time yeah. in Last Action Hero. Or Except something. for you made me watch the whole fucking thing. The whole thing, which would be a DVD extra on the special Blu-ray of whatever that Sylvester Stallone movie was. All right. So, uh, oh, Steve has this fan theory. Uh, Kurt Wimmer has stated that the film was directed in such a way as to allow for an alternative theory about the story. First of all, have a story. Let, let's, <laughs> wait, 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 let's does that mean he directed it blindfolded or something? <laughs> uh, you can't have an alternate theory about like a story no when there's no making. story. And also know what movie you're making. Uh, I am one this, with the camera. The camera is with me. <laughs> in this theory, the character of Six is actually Violet from the future. What? Nope. nope. Who comes back after a cure for hemophagia has been developed. This explains how Six has the cure and nobody else does. It also explains why Violet is so adamant about protecting a human, despite her goal in life being to kill them all. Uh, the theory also explains why Six often disobeys Violet and leads where they go. Being Violet from the future, Six remembers how things happened in the original timeline and can prevent them from occurring. You know this I was confused around. two sentences ago. I would be that would be actually a better movie but you need to make six a girl and yes. then you need to like actually make this part of your movie like you could do like make a 12 monkeys twist ending sure or something. how but, is the little boy the first the future version of the adult woman that's a great question because what is the fucking you know the I'll tell you why the we, broken tv that he came out of we, no 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 i'll tell you why we pulled a cum heist oh that's yeah <laughs> a future cum heist we know we pulled a cum heist in the past we took her father's come, and then we went into the future <laughs> sure. and we made that baby of her in the future, and then we put some come back so she could be made. And then we you, waited. And then, and then we waited seven years for her to grow up a little bit. That's right. <laughs> and then we brought her back. And then we brought her back. We brought our come baby back yeah. to save the rest of the humanity. Oh man, you want to move four liters, man? Hey, that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. <laughs> it's like the Rock. They have them in pearls. <laughs> oh man! Oh, wow. No one's listening. <laughs> hey, let me just give my real phone number out. Literally, no one's listening. I might as well do that. Eric, what's your bank code? Oh yeah, you don't have your credit it's, card it's, number. No, literally, no one's no one's yeah, here. Coming up next, my social security number. Bosco. <laughs> I mean, so like he, she wakes up in William Fickner's place. And Fickner is like, oh, I realized that kid had a cure, I think, or something. They kind of rip off Buffy in this moment. They rip off a lot of things. But did you notice this part? So she's like, she, so whatever, fucking um, Billy Bedlam, you know, whatever, (laughs) Draxus, you know, Billy Bedlam from Con Air, Draxus, like shoots her in this playground. She's dead. And Uh then like the next thing we see of her through, you know story writing or just accidental editing or whatever it is William Fickner's like patched her up and she's alive again and what she says is she's like what did you bring me back for I was dead oh, I was I, happy oh, and right. that's that great moment in yeah. Buffy yeah. where they're like what the fuck is your problem Buffy and mm-hmm. she's like you fucking jerks yeah. brought me back from the dead spoiler alert for season 6 Buffy that's just that's why that's one of the only good things that happens in season 6 of yeah. Buffy <laughs> that's one of the beginning and the end fuck the trio uh anyway so so that whole thing happens and then like the movie is just it, again she's like well i guess i'm just going to i'm going to go get that kid this is the thing that, that i didn't i didn't know about was she's like uh that kid the 6 is definitely not dead and william fickner's like how, what are you talking about? You saw and she's, she's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. He's not dead. Yeah. And then goes back to this complex again to break this kid out again. But it's like the movie, unless I miss something, the movie in no way tells us how she knows that this kid if, is alive. Well, First, I mean, it's an all, the, from the future. It's the alternate something or other. Stop know? it. No, I will not entertain that. And, and for some reason, it's like he went 88 miles per hour. He's in like a cold, <laughs> like he's frosted all over. Oh, yeah. Why is he frozen? He's frozen I for some... I don't know. Maybe I'm, that was part of the cum heist. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, they were trying to freeze that cum even though it was already born as a child. But now she's not so worried about the six hundred soldiers because guess what? She's great at everything. No, she's yeah, she's she she's she's figured it out. She gets on a new outfit that's like white and then it turns red and then it turns black and then it turns and then her blue. hair turns magenta. She, she just slashes these guys and then she fights Draxus, right? Yeah, yep. well she has got like purple gun the guns that shoot purple lights. That's kind of fun. That's like ultraviolet. Uh-huh. Cash in for a bit of the ultraviolet. <laughs> <laughs> I would love a commentary track of Bill Nye watching Ultraviolet. <laughs> like, heckling, like, oh, Underworld was what, so much What is this? Was <laughs> Stole that. 
was I in this? <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, oh, absolutely. Like, he's giving a commentary to it as if, like, oh, I guess I'm doing this for my DVD release. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, it was in a green screen. I don't remember who I acted with. It must have been Jerry. This movie. Jerry, I think you, you had me coming on this commentary a little too early. When, <laughs> when do I appear in this has, film? Has my sandwich come yet? Am oh, I that little I, boy? Is that little boy me from the future? <laughs> I guarantee you he seemed like 15% of his movies. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, totally. Maybe. There's no way he's watching Underworld. No, no, he hasn't seen a single Underworld film. So I don't think he's seen Love Actually. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, oh, they keep telling me I'm good in it. Like, Make me a super cut of just my scenes. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did see Pirates of the Caribbean too, though. Oh, that's possible. Maybe he saw About Time. Or maybe oh, he watched me in the theater see About Time and cry my fucking eyes out. Oh, which, really? Which one is that oh, one? Oh, dude, which yeah. That one? It's, it's, it's a movie where it's Donald Gleason and I believe Rachel McAdams. Yes. And, like, <sighs> Donald Gleason's like, he, like they, they come She's from, like, good, a family of, of time travelers. Uh-huh. And, oh, man, he goes to, like, th- this moment. Like, so Bill Nye, he, like, drops dead. And, like, Donald Gleason, like, goes back in time to, like, be with his dad one last time on the beach. Holy fuck, not a dry eye in the gosh see? darn house. Hey, Eric, now you don't have to see it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I guess I'm that's good. kind of the whole thing. Yeah. Kind <laughs> of the whole thing. All right, sounds good. You know what? <laughs> You know what? About time, better movie than this. Well, oh, really? It would have to be. So she goes and she cuts <laughs> off a bunch of people. She does fight Traxxas. She at, at the... one point has a gun with swords come out of it, mm-hmm. so that's a thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like Uzis with the like the stick is the sword. Oh, yeah, and how, it's really how, much, how, how much time has Kurt Vimmer spent masturbating to Final <laughs> Fantasy? <laughs> Right? He's probably like Final Fantasy VII. He's just jerking. He hired, time. Oh, totally. He hires a prostitute just to play Final Fantasy oh, so he yeah. can jerk He's off probably on the jerking couch. off to that new Zelda game right now. Switch! Switch! As people post screen caps of that, and I'm like, hey, it's doing it. No, it's, it's just a really cool game. It looks I, cool I as fuck, man. Yeah, really, I, I, I really so wish I had it. a Switch. It's so, it's so hard. For me to justify purchasing a video game system. Yeah, it's, it's just... But Jesus, that looks cool. So um, Drax is like, I was a vampire the whole time. And gotcha. Was, and I'm like, what? Why? <laughs> what? Well, no, no. Why? Hold it's, on. Well, that's maybe I was that's... lying about being a dabbo. I'm like, that's the one thing I knew about this music, this movie. I had a piece of paper down. It said Mila Jovovich vampire. <laughs> Drax is not vampire. And you took that away from me, Drax. <laughs> His name you sounds like Dracula. Up. His name sounds like Dracula. Exactly. Why are you surprised? You gotta see it coming. All right, I guess so. All right. Just like a come And here's my uh, my my assistant Nosferat. <laughs> oh my God, come heist! They never saw it coming. I yes. love it. Yes, that's, that's the, on the poster. This summer they won't see it coming. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna redefine blurbs. It's, just, <laughs> it's Kevin Hart and Bill Nighy in like a junkie like donut truck. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely a donut truck, dude. That's how you disguise it. Oh, that's the getaway vehicle. It's a souped-up donut truck. Jeez, oh, fuck yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> so that they, like, he turns the, he turns the <laughs> lights off, Glaze. and then she sets her fake sword on fire, and then he sets his sword on fire. fire. And this sword is on fire. <laughs> yeah, and then they you know they go at each other like they're Beric Dondarrion and the Hound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, she wins. How does she kill? Is it even a cool? She death? cuts him in half. Oh, but you right. don't see it because the fucking lights are turned out yeah. in this movie because it's so cheap. Well, I feel but- like someone was like, "Hey, Kurt, um, I know you got this cool flame and sword fight. What if they couldn't see anything?" And he's like, "Yeah, but yeah, the money. Uh, yeah, what if they didn't see anything? <laughs> like, s- it's what it is. Is like because the lights are totally out. You can kind of see her, and it's like one like." A vertical line of fire that splits into two, and it's yeah. him just falling onto the floor. Well, we then, don't see any of it. Well, that's, I mean, for the one second, I thought this could almost be a salvageable movie. When the first thing happens with the the guys going into the, bl- the bank, and he, like, slices a guy right in half. Oh, right? yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, he's going to fall. No blood. 
Oh yeah, the, the, that's the big problem with it's this weirdly movie. bloodless. There's no blood, and like even what happens doesn't show up on the body. No, yeah. there's not. Like, come on, you're making this come piece on. of shit movie that you're gonna have to beg people to fucking see, unless you're <laughs> Stephen from Charlotte, or unless you're in the mafia. Three hundred for ultraviolet, please. <laughs> oh wait a minute, refund those tickets. There ain't no blood in this. Sweetheart, can I get a popcorn too? Three hundred of my friends. <laughs> That'd be great. 300 tickets, one large and, uh, box. <laughs> I, uh, some, uh, I heard there's dips. free refills. <laughs> some dips. <laughs> I got a couple, uh, cup of dips. Hold on. I, I got the mozzarella sticks. You call this a uh, marinara sauce? <laughs> oh. Is it, uh, is it freshetta? Pe- uh, no. No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. You know what you're not allowed to do is complain about the quality of mozzarella sticks in a re- uh, movie theater. Yeah. They are just movie theater mozzarella sticks, and that's what you get. Mm hmm. That's what I ate all of during Doctor Strange the first time. Oh, nice. <laughs> so is this movie over? It's pretty much oh, over, we're right? Done. Yep, she thank drags. You. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> Harry got his coat on. You. <laughs> Door slam. She drags this kid up to the roof, and she's like, "Hey, turns out." There's a cure. And he goes, yeah, I know. And I was like, what the fuck is anybody talking well, about? He, she's like, oh, I cured you when I cried on you or some nonsense. No, she turned him into a vampire. Oh, I oh, see. fuck. <laughs> and now he can fly. And then they fly oh, off together. Man, that would have been cool. Oh. No, they just ride off. And then she's like, oh, we won this battle, uh, but I'll be there anytime someone <sighs> else comes up. And Nobody I'm like, will. wait, who won Nobody what? Will. Nobody will come. Also, nobody will come. What is the deal? Wait, wait. that could be in come, come. Uh, what's a come heist? Yeah. Come heist. Come oh my heist. god, come heist three, the old folks home, and they're like, "What are we doing here?" Yeah. <laughs> Just, turns out there's one dude who's lying about his age to be in the old folks home. Mm-hmm. What's well, lucky? Wait, up to Michael what... Caine and Alan Arkin are going to <laughs> oh hijack. God. Hijack a shipment of Viagra. <laughs> Dude, that movie looks fucking terrible. Oh, Directed God. by Zach Braff. Yeah, hold no on, hold on, hold on. Are we getting a come heist to no? know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a movie out right now called Come Heist, and I'm not starring in it. <laughs> if anybody's still in come around Hollywood, it's me. You're Yelling only, at his agent. You're yeah, only it's... supposed to blow the bloody b- load off. <laughs> Wasn't he supposed to retire like 12 movies ago? Yeah. I thought Batman was supposed to be in. It was either Batman or Inception. Not Inception. Maybe uh, I Interstellar th- was supposed to be his last movie, I think. He's retired, dude, because uh. he knows no one's going to see those movies. Okay. No, someone's going to spend no. $35 million in DVD sales, dude. No one's. That's fake. Wasn't he also in Now You See Me Too? He, he was. was. Didn't he fucking fart into that movie? He did fart in that movie. Did you watch it, Chris? I did not. Okay, good. I'm coming for your horseman. <laughs> oh, shit. I turned off the first one like an hour in. Oh, really? You didn't see the full oh, movie? I oh, I saw that, that whole shit. thing. Oh, it I turned it off stinks. too. I, I didn't even watch it. It stinks. Yeah. It it's stinks. Awful. It's a movie where like magic might be real, but nobody's fessing up to it. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Yeah, that's you're doing an impression of a blind DVD buyer. Could you dude. imagine if Chris Angel was real? <laughs> And he could go back at the rich. And then one time, Ooh. and then one time, Chris Angel was walking outside Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Let me show you a magic trick. I'll make this baby and it disappear <laughs> with federal funds, <laughs> while also doing cancer screenings. <laughs> oh, whatever. Also, like. What like the roof of this building is shaped like a cross? I guess so, or something yeah, shaped like a cross. You know, Something's it's, happening. It's saying something. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> Who could care? Stephen from North Carolina. I think you have to go to our Atlanta show for this. Yeah, yeah. you got to make the trek. You I'm sorry, pilgrimage. You yeah, gotta, you just got to go. I, I gotta, just to drive down, kiss the ring, and apologize. <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say this on the air, Stephen from Charlotte. If you can convince that ex-girlfriend to come along with you, we'll comp your tickets to this Atlanta show. Or at the very least, just to, you know, get us back one. <laughs> yeah. I get mean, her to write us an account of this interaction. And we will buy you mozzarella sticks. <laughs> yes. You can't complain about the quality, though. They're comedy club mozzarella sticks. Okay, uh, now as no one's listening. <clears throat> uh, so, Stephen Anthony Sadak. Uh-huh. Routing number. Uh, <laughs> you got your social circuit there, yeah, buddy? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> this was a horrible movie. It sure was. That no one will recommend. This no. is not a hangover movie. This would exacerbate a hangover. I, this I would mean, make it so right, hot. I, and I, and now, I mean, I really mean this, and I'm going to, I'm going to like tattoo a U on my inner wrist, so that whenever someone on this this show says a, <laughs> this is the worst movie we've ever done, I'm going to have to say no. Uh, it's ultraviolet, unless yep. unless something happens, unless something catastrophic happens. Ultraviolet too. Oh no. I don't even think they had a straight to DVD of that one. No. Ultraviolet two colon slinging webs. Apparently, Mila Jovovich uh, disowned this movie. By the way, she really? what, what a shock. She didn't like it. Uh, she yeah. did not like it. This she did not trash. like it. What, what did uh, William Fickner think about this movie? He doesn't give a shit, man. You think you're <laughs> fucking? You, you, you think you're even like making William Fickner blink? It's like, yeah, I made a movie. Whatever. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit. I made twelve movies know, yesterday. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Since no one's recommending this, I think this would be a good time to say. You've made it this far. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. You're one of the diehard fans, and thank you very much for being with us. We have a Patreon page. That's right. Patreon.com slash We Hate Movies, where we do a sideshow called The Nexus, where we recap Star Trek episodes, and we thought, hey, this movie gave you, gave us nothing. Let's play a clip. Give a little something back for the yeah. people who don't subscribe or thinking about it. Maybe you're on the fans yeah. as to subscribe. Preview. We yeah. never released a yes. trailer or, or what the next is really clip. was, so we'll roll a clip so that you get an idea and a feel for what this um, premium podcast is. It's, uh, which is kind of hilarious. A uh, It's like a fake alien races sonnet from 1996. Oh, I like that line. Oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah. Also, yeah, it's uh, Mercy's Playground, <laughs> Captain. There's <laughs> also, by the way, any man who within 15 minutes of knowing you starts quoting poetry, run. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Run quickly. That's a huge red flag, and I'm serious about that. I don't care if you're taking a class on poetry. You get the fuck out Especially of that. Especially if you're taking a class. Be, be weary of theirs do, those yeah. dudes. Who's that lounging in my <laughs> chair, Captain? Can I can I go now? Who's go that on. casting deep evil stares in my it's, direction? It, it's a, it's a beautiful piece of a piece, Mama piece of writing. Mama, surely I go? is a dream. Let me <laughs> let me quote you some 1996 poetry. Yeah, they come to snuff the rooster. <laughs> <laughs> you know he ain't gonna die, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> and then like someone doesn't get it and, 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 and Kirk's all shitty about it like Earth 1996 <laughs> maybe you've heard of it how <laughs> bizarre how bizarre <laughs> destination unknown as we pull in for some gas <laughs> I was lying on the grass on Sunday morning of last week <laughs> Standing on the corner of 52nd and Broadway, cars passing by, Captain, but none of them seem to go my way. New York City? Well, I wish I was on the highway. Back to Olympia. Oh my God! This is—it's amazing. Like, like, <laughs> like Bones has his 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 uh, his new metal and rap. Yeah, his, his early, early aughts, and then and then. Spock is really into that alt rock. It's like rock alt rock and, and some like pop punk. Like, yeah, a little bit, of, a little bit of everything there. A little bit of grunge yeah, for him. Like some it. just like nineties rock radio. Oh, so big. I thought it was pretty fun and entertaining, and I yeah. honestly don't think eight dollars is all that much. <laughs> Surprise! If, if that was just me, no. I mean, I, I appreciate everybody. There. Listen, the worst episodes of Star Trek ever made, and I think we've already covered some of them on the Nexus's mm-hmm. short life already. Are better than ultraviolet. Well, like if you subscribe now to the Patreon, you you don't only just get the Nexus if you, at that level, right? You get that, and by the way, there's like seven episodes now, so that's like seven hours totally of and so, Star Trek talk. You and, also get Animation Damnation. Which Remember is, when that yeah. when those were free? Uh, <laughs> now they're not, but they're great. Um, they're a little bit longer because we kind of we understand that people are paying for them. We really appreciate the sure. people paying for them. And they're very different. Uh, we we just did for for listener request month. We just did Pokemon again uh, uh, for this uh, month on the Nexus. We just did Voyager and Deep Space Nine, which is a bit different for right. us on the yeah. Nexus. Yeah. There are commentary tracks. We got taken to mm-hmm. Mintary, and then right. we also have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 
2014 Mentary. And there's going right. to be another commentary out in the spring, TBD, but it's going to be in the spring. It's pretty exciting. We're doing them seasonally. That's right. For a year, they say. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, my God, Ultraviolet. Uh, what a piece of shit. Directed by Kurt Vimmer. May he never direct a single thing I th- again. I think it's been. Is, is this 2006? He hasn't done anything since, right? No. No, he's written quite he, a he's lot. He's writing, though. He's writing quite yeah, a keep lot. Keep him behind there. Keep him way, way, way behind the camera. <laughs> way in the back with the good coats. <laughs> Uh, wrong 90s crime movie we've been referencing yeah, the whole know, episode. Yeah. Uh, all right, so next week, my God, Listener Request Month fucking wraps up with uh, a little film called Overboard. Oh, Russell Rules is coming there right back. Go, <laughs> oh, man. This is kind of exciting. <laughs> I haven't seen this movie in like 20 years. Me yeah, neither, I but in a long time. I remember it being disturbing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, even as a kid, it was a heartwarmingly disturbing. Mm-hmm. Questionable, like, if highly I could, dubious. If I could just knock out the right lady. <laughs> <laughs> if only. I think they remade Overboard in the early uh, 21st century. It's called Donkey Punch. It's it's a hell of a movie, I got to tell you. <laughs> Chris Cabin, you, yeah. you like Donkey Punch, right? It's actually not that bad of a movie. How, now, is it worse or better than Zoo? Hmm. Worse. Okay. Wow, so Donkey Punch is worse than Zoo, but is Zoo better than Ultraviolet? Oh, by is Donkey leaps Punch and Is Donkey Punch better than Ultraviolet? By leaps. <laughs> just by leaps <laughs> leaps and bounds do is better than ultraviolet yeah. leaps <laughs> donkey punch is better than ultraviolet oh, God, that's technically ultraviolet <laughs> directed by kurt vimmer if you want more whm check us out at whmpodcast.com or over at the headgum network page like us on facebook and follow us on twitter we are at whm podcast right into the mailbag of course we all hate movies at gmail.com rate and review the show wherever you get it we would greatly appreciate it Next week, we do conclude with Overboard, as we said. Uh, God damn you, Stephen from Charlotte. God damn you straight to hell yeah. for requesting this movie. Yeah. I thought I was going to go my whole uh, life without checking it out. But, fuck uh, you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. here we are. So until next week, where Russell rules, I'm Andrew Jupin. Stephen Sadek. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast.